65 million years ago, an asteroid the size of a mountain struck the Gulf of Mexico, traveling at over 60,000 kilometers per hour. This caused an explosion equivalent to more than 100 trillion tons of TNT and resulted in a crater 200 kilometers wide. The event set off a global catastrophe that caused 80% of all life on Earth to go extinct. These events are of course rare, and we've been hit by larger asteroids in the past, but our safety is not guaranteed. In Stephen Hawking's last ever book, he wrote an asteroid collision would be something against which we have no defense. The last big collision with us was about 65 million years ago, and it will happen again. This is not science fiction. It is guaranteed by the laws of physics and probability. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. In 2012, astronomers found an asteroid with a 1 in 3,000 chance of hitting Earth sometime in the next 40 years. And back in 2013, it was set to make a close pass by of the Earth. And so, one evening in February of 2013, the asteroid named Duende passed just 28,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. But the strange thing is, just 16 hours earlier, we were hit by an asteroid and no one knew it was coming. Earlier that morning, over Chelyabinsk, Russia, an asteroid 20 meters wide exploded just 20 kilometers overhead. Just before it exploded, it would have appeared larger than the sun to onlooking citizens. This event was 30 times more powerful than the Hiroshima nuclear bomb, and we had no clue it was coming. So while we had made a prediction for an asteroid to pass by Earth that day, we found the wrong one. Listen, I have named this video, an asteroid is going to hit Earth. And as Stephen Hawking said, this is true. It is an undeniable fact that we will be hit by many more asteroids, big and small. Some might be in your lifetime, and some might not be for millions of years. Obviously, we don't want to end up like the dinosaurs, but how big would an asteroid have to be to cause that much damage? Let's start with something small, around the size of a car. Now, one of these guys hits the Earth around once per year. If one happened right now, we might see a bright flash in the sky but nothing serious would happen. It would just burn up in the atmosphere. Asteroids that are about this size hit the Earth every 10 years or so. And if one was coming down right above you, you might even be able to see it burning up in the atmosphere. Some of the larger fragments could even make it to the ground. Around two minutes after entry, you would hear a loud boom. It would be about as loud as city traffic. For the most part, our atmosphere is more than capable of dealing with these guys, but that's not what we're here to see. Let me show you the real deal. Okay, so I can't wait to show you exactly what would happen if a one kilometer wide asteroid hit the Earth. But first, I need to thank the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is basically this huge database of tools you can use to create videos like mine. They have over a million 4K and HD video clips and animations, countless sound effects, royalty-free music, really just everything you need to make your next project amazing. And with a Storyblocks subscription, you can download an unlimited amount. I mean, look at this animation. I downloaded this directly from Storyblocks for this video, and now they even have this amazing feature where you can search for videos directly inside of Premiere Pro or After Effects using their Adobe Creative Cloud plugin, making the process even more seamless. I've been using their service for years before they ever decided to work with me, 
and you get all of these amazing perks for just one set monthly fee. So click the link at the top of the description, storyblocks.com forward slash astrokobe. And by using my link, you are supporting the channel and helping me out a lot. Now let's go see what happens when a huge asteroid hits the earth. I am right now on top of the largest granite monolith in all of Australia. It is about 1,000 meters in diameter. If this were an asteroid and it was hurtling towards us, we should be worried. Something this big should hit the Earth around every 6 million years. As it enters the atmosphere, it will be traveling with the equivalent energy of 750,000 megatons of TNT. Around 50 kilometers above the ground, it would begin to break up into a number of smaller rocks. These rocks would strike the Earth, vaporizing and melting tons of material in an instant, forming a crater 16 kilometers wide and 700 meters deep. For the locals around this area, they would witness a fireball hundreds of times larger than the sun. They would feel the ground shake with the equivalent energy of an 8 magnitude earthquake on the Richter scale. Large chunks of rocks the size of skyscrapers would be thrown onto the surrounding area. And finally, 30 seconds after the impact, the air blast will arrive. A wave of high pressure air traveling at over 3,000 kilometers per second. All of this destruction would happen from an asteroid just one kilometer in size. And remember, the dinosaur killer was more than 10 times this size. We should protect ourselves. And finally, asteroids bigger than one kilometer. These are the planet killers. The chances of one of these hitting the Earth are 1 in 50,000 every 100 years. If one of these hit the Earth, we would be in some serious trouble. An impact crater hundreds of kilometers wide would form. Multiple countries in the surrounding area would be decimated. It could even cause global devastation, a similar fate to the dinosaurs. It is obvious that this is something we humans have been afraid of for a while now. Back in 2004, scientists predicted an asteroid named Apophis would have a 2.7% chance of impacting Earth in the year 2029. An asteroid the size of the Rose Bowl, more than a thousand feet across, feels its way toward the Earth right now. The public was told that if it did hit us, it would be more powerful than hundreds of nuclear bombs. And people were fairly terrified. Now we have more data and better observations, we can confidently say that on April 13th, 2029, Apophis will pass just 30,000 kilometers above the Earth, and there is no chance it hits us in at least the next 100 years. But there are thousands of Apophis-like asteroids out there and thousands more way bigger. So are we really safe? I guess the ultimate question is, say that we found an asteroid that is on a collision course with Earth and we know for sure it is going to hit us. What can we do? Well, there are three main ideas that scientists seem to argue over. We can either kick it out of the way, pull it away from Earth or nuke it. To kick it out of the way, we are essentially trying to smash an object into it with enough force to push it off course, protecting the Earth in the process. The pulling method is a bit more science fiction-y. We could potentially use a gravity tractor to move the asteroid off its collision path. We would want to hover a spacecraft just above the asteroid's surface and use its gravitational attraction to our advantage. And finally, the nuke approach. It feels like a last ditch attempt in some ways, but in other ways, it does seem like the best way to protect us. We could explode a large nuclear explosive close to the asteroid's surface, 
splitting it up into tiny pieces that are thrown away from the Earth. While this could work for some asteroids, we would also run a risk of forming a number of smaller asteroids that would then collide with Earth, creating even more damage. And we aren't just sitting around waiting for something to happen. We are already actively testing these methods. NASA's DART mission, or Double Asteroid Redirection Test, sent a spacecraft designed to impact an asteroid to test whether this would even work. And well, it was a smashing success. They successfully impacted the asteroid on September 26, 2022, and changed Dimorphos' orbit by 33 minutes. This might not sound like a lot, but it is at least in theory enough to knock an asteroid off the collision path with Earth, as long as we get to it in time. Of all the asteroids we currently track, none of them will hit us in the next 100 years, so you can breathe easy. But that doesn't mean there isn't an asteroid out there lurking in the shadows that may be on a collision course for Earth in the future. And humans are resilient. We think that a kilometer-sized asteroid like the granite rock I was on earlier hit the Earth around 800,000 years ago, in the process scattering debris across 10% of the Earth's surface. This was the largest impact event to occur while humans were around, and well, we survived then. So what's not to say we can't do it again?